So let's have a look at how you change what is going to the stage display. The easiest way, I think, for most of us is going to be to use the Stream Deck here in front of you. Um, this doesn't do anything to what goes out to the audience on the broadcast. This is only about what goes to the screen. Um, and apologies for the wobbles on <laughs> forgot to bring a tripod. Um, let's have a look very quickly at what these buttons are. It's worth having a play yourself and particularly at the start of the service, chatting with the service host about how you would like, sorry, how they would like um, the screen to look for them. The easiest ones to see are probably worship video and then we'll look in a bit more detail at the others. Let's go to a worship song um, on Pro Presenter. Let's pick this song here. What we want here for the band is not pretty things, it's nothing with any kind of layout, it's just the words. So let's press worship and you see what they get is current and next song words. So top one is current and as you move through the song you see that the bottom ones come up to the top. So that's really nice for the worship team and that's all that they need to see. So that's the first setup, really, really nice and handy. And you get that just by pressing and you can do this anytime. It doesn't change anything else, remember. That's how you get up the um, view that's um, sort of uh, best for worship. Let's now look at the next one along, which is the video. So I'm going to launch a video on ProPresenter, and you'll see that there's nothing really helpful at all coming up on the screen. That's because it's still in worship view. Let's press video. It switches to this view, which is much nicer having the countdown timer as well as the ability to actually see the, uh, the video that's actually being played out. Next scenario is when you've got a host just running through um, their bit of the service. And there are two options here, really. Um, full or a bit more split with um, notes and things. Let's have a look first at what full looks like. So if I switch to looking at this just Ivy Church slide, we go to full. That's the view that you get on full. Um, it's literally just what's going out. Plus, obviously, if you send any stage display messages, it will include that as well. So let's just say, hello world. Um, that flashes up there for a stage display. Um, so that's a view that might be helpful. Full plus T just adds a timer. Um, and we've not got a timer sort of linked to anything in particular. It just happens to be running from when I started it, counting down earlier. Um, but most of the time, actually, um, it's more helpful to use um, one of these because these include the notes, if there are any notes. So let's look at this um, This notice here where we do know there are some notes. It'd be really nice for the host to be able to see those notes. Have a look at the differences here. So this is one screen. It's only showing the current live and it's got the notes underneath. 1 plus T is that plus showing the timer. 1 big is the same, but with bigger text. And I think most hosts really like the bigger text. And then 1 plus 1 big plus timer is, as you expect. Or sometimes people will want to see a two by two, so the current slide and the next slide. I think the most obvious example is for a preacher, where often they really do want to see where they're at and what's coming next. So let's have an example of that. Um, this is the starting slide, and we move through the slides. You can see the notes sort of aid memoir for the preacher underneath. Um, but actually, most preachers also just want a bit of a reminder of what their next slide is as well. And that's what this row at the bottom of twos is for. So most people we will go for this. Most preachers will want the timer. They'll want current slide and next slide left and right. And then the notes as well for them. And you'll see that on the next coming up slide, you've also got the um, the text, the notes, just displayed in, in a, in a grey, so it's not quite so uh, so prominent. 
Um, so that's how you do those things. And then if you want to be manually controlling the timer, you can also do that there. So just reset the timer to 15 minutes and that starts it. And obviously that stops it and that resets it again. So um, that is basically how the Stream Deck controls the stage display. Play with it. Um, chat with the host beforehand and, and say, you know, do you want to see um, your notes up big? Yeah, that's the big question, really. Do you want the one big or just the ordinary one? Um, and then for the preacher, it's worth just showing them and saying, yeah, you can see your slides side by side like that, um, or you can have them uh, look slightly differently and just sort of cycle through. We do recommend for preachers, most preachers will want to have a timer up there. Um, that's the only one where we're sometimes a little bit assertive. Um, but that's how the Stream Deck works. There are other ways you can do this as well. And I will really quickly show you those. But if you're not interested, that's absolutely fine. The Stream Deck is the most important one to know.